Wayne back again. I just want to do a quick update and eh, I don't know conversation I guess about what I've been doing um, since I finished the 32. As you can see I've got the uh, 55 Mercedes. Um, I pulled it back out of the box and I got paint on it. I got clear on it and uh, it is um, actually it's, a, it's got like it's got three coats of paint a base coat it has three coats of of clear and um, so what I used for paint was actually uh, Sherwin Williams ATX and um, I mentioned this a while ago um, I bought this back in in May the 15th of May uh, when I started this project and that and because uh, I wanted to get it close to an actual Mercedes color and that so so this is what we came up with and uh, this was the first time that I shot anything other than acrylic through my airbrush and uh, we we mix this I mix this up uh, three to one he he supplied reducer with it and that and uh, there was four ounces in the can I hardly used any um, I might have used an ounce an ounce and a quarter to give three coats and that was and that's and that was a that's a lot of paint um, you know I just doing light coats and uh, um, but uh, for clear um, I didn't spray the clear through through the airbrush what I used was just the uh, duplicolor acrylic lacquer that I get um, from my automotive store and uh, uh, that flows out that flows out perfect that flows out beautifully so there's three coats of that on and that took me about an hour and a half to do um, basically uh, setting up spraying um, letting it letting it flash off between coats and it didn't take long for the for the for the base coat to flash off between coats uh, by the time I was I was uh, got the body shot and then um, sprayed the inner fenders the hood the doors and the trunk hood and that body was ready to shoot the second coat so uh, it went very very well and uh, I let it I let it flash out um, for about 15 20 minutes before I started to put the clear on it and uh, then we put three coats of clear on it letting it flash out in between so uh, you know I was a little worried that I wouldn't it's the cleanup for me uh, and, and, and it's just me I mean I mean clean up with acrylic is so is it is so easy um, you know bucket of water some windshield washer fluid whatever and uh, when you start talking about well lacquer thinners and paint thinners reducer automotive paint and you know crap like that it gets a bit it, you know because you've never because I've never done it before uh, but you want to know something it was easy the airbrush cleaned out cleaned out good um, you know, and uh, I don't see that there's an issue. The only issue is this stuff stinks, and uh, so I had to spray it outside. I couldn't spray it in the house. Uh, but other than that, that was the only hardship. And uh, I think if I was to do it again, I might set up something in my garage to paint. So anyway, so I'm back on this. This is this is coming along nicely now. Now I can like it's got a nice shine to it. It has. It's just not fully cured. It's dry. It's dry enough to touch. I wouldn't want to sand on it right now. Um, I'm going to let it sit. Um, I've got a trip planned uh, for next week, so once I get back from that, this thing should be nice and hard, um, but still probably good enough to uh, to to uh, to wet sand and buff. So so that's that's the that's the um, uh, the Mercedes, and uh, of course I'm going with a. It may not show up very well on the camera but what I'm doing is I'm going with a with a light gray on the uh, on the interior and that, and that just goes with the with the photo that I had up at the very very beginning and I'll I'll post that again because it is very very close to the color of of that of that car so but that's the idea that I'm going with for for the Mercedes and that so so that's that now the um, the 
the let me adjust this there we go the 32 that I did was uh, the kit itself was given to me as a as a Christmas gift and um, again like I said before I'm not really a I'm not I don't I don't I don't not like hot rods I just want to make that perfectly clear I mean uh, right now in my head I'm still a muscle car, muscle car builder I mean I've got some Impalas and I've got that 49 Merc and I just have no interest in building those right now the parade floats but it's the it's you know um, uh, the Chargers the GTOs the um, the Novas, the Chevelles, and, 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 and all that. That's, you know, that's still my main focus uh, because I just haven't gotten that out of my system yet. This kit here uh, was given to me by three very, very special girls. Um, I, have, uh, I have triplet nieces. Um, in fact, this, is our, this weekend coming up is our Thanksgiving, and they turn 16 this weekend. And uh, so um, I just want to give them a big shout out that uh, you know it's uh, it's a milestone birthday for them, and uh, um, you know it, it, this was a this I got they gave me this kit for my birthday, and uh, so I'm going to tackle this one now, and uh, um, you know again, I it's a it's a fantastic kit. It builds up really really well. Um, I don't know how much of my spin I can put on it that hasn't there's not a whole lot to these that haven't already been done and um, so I'm gonna build it to the way I want to build it um, I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm gonna go back to my to my acrylic roots with the paint and what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on I'm, I'm, I'm gonna experiment again and what I'm going to do is, uh, we're not going to two tones, it's going to be one solid color. I'm going to try and make my own candy colors. I've seen it, I saw it on, I saw it on, uh, on YouTube and I thought it was great. I'm going to try it. Other people, you've got, people may have already done it. So we're going to spray the body with the gold leaf from Tamiya. This whole thing's going to be painted with Tamiya. Tamiya, Tamiya, potato, potato, whatever. And then over the top of this one, I'm going to do the clear orange, and to make it a candy, to make it a candy orange, uh, and we'll see how that goes. I'm going to grab another, I'm um, going to grab another orange and another gold, so I've got two, two for each, and we're going to go at it that way. Um, you know, I don't want to start getting into house of color paint. It's not my thing. Um, it's super expensive and I just don't it's it, I just don't want to use house of color paint plain and simple and uh, we're just gonna go from there so I've got the willies is in the bath it's been in the bath for a couple days now it should actually come out but um, so that's besides the Mercedes I'm gonna be putting around with this thing here and uh, and we'll go at that now you see I got a cork piece of cork board on the table and uh, with a line down the middle of it and a whole bunch of white a whole bunch of white dust all over the place this board it's a it's a cork board that I got from Michaels let me back this out and it is uh, 20 by 16 and I bought it a while ago I used a 50% coupon uh, I think I only paid like about nine dollars for it and I've been trying to figure out, I thought, well, okay, fine, I'll make it into uh, two lanes of a drag strip and have, to, you know, have the Christmas trees and the stands and everything else like that. But that became, where am I going to store it? What am I going to do with it? Where am I going to store it? I don't have, I don't have a lot of room uh, in, in the workshop. So I was at work one day, one of the, one of my plants down in the Toronto area, and uh, they handle... They handle a lot of um, foam, and this is it's it's a <clears throat> so we're in the roofing industry, and uh, we use a lot of foam. <coughs> excuse me, 
uh, on flat roofs on reef membranes and we actually will CNC this stuff to start off uh, thick and go down so that we can uh, channel water down to the drains down to the, down to the drains for the for the flat roofs so there goes the myth flat roofs are not flat and this is this is stuff that is uh, off cuts scrap and so I picked up a piece that was about wasn't quite four by four four feet by four feet and I thought well geez I see what I can do with that so what I did was I cut I cut a piece to go here, and this is gonna be this is gonna be difficult to see. I understand that. Drag this out a bit more. A piece to go here, and I cut a piece to go here. So, what this is going to do is it's gonna give me it's gonna give me walls for <clears throat> um, a factory. An old industrial building and this is going to be my shop inside it's gonna be fake and this is gonna be these just the outside entrance to my fictitious model shop okay so I've got the overhead there we go I got the overhead door here that I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna build a corrugated uh, a, a steel door out of aluminum I'm going to have an entrance door over here. I'll cut the same opening over here, but I'll brick it. And then I'll have some windows going across the top. So what I did was, um, where my main office is, uh, has, it's, a fairly, it's, it's a fairly recent building, uh, meaning it's less, than, it's less than 20 years old. And so I just went out, I measured their door and copied the dimensions and measured the block and copied the dimensions and measured, you know, so to get myself into scale. So these blocks are three eighths of an inch high and uh, three quarters long. In one to one, uh, the block is seven and a half by 15 and a half. So it's fairly close to being doubled. And so it, it just I just wanted it to look to look in scale and if I take a car and plop it down it really is not it really is not that bad so I figure I'll have enough room to have one at the entrance and then probably angle parking for two for two others you know so that's the idea and then I'll do this as if it's an old an old tarmac and um, an old parking lot and what I what I've been watching I've been watching uh, uh, Gary the transition modeler and he did a good tutorial on how to do how to turn these cork boards into um, asphalt so you know I'm gonna weather it I'm actually again been watching videos uh, um, classic plastic 101 um, there's a couple of other ones on there um, that are that do uh, lighting so my idea is I want to put a light a light here and a light over top of the door and then I'll cap off one off of the old door and, and that so that you know when I, when I turn the overhead lights off it, it, this is more for photography than for anything else and the beauty of it is it's going to be in three pieces and all I'd have to do is just pull the walls off and I can store them standing straight up and it's not that and it's not that big of a deal to to do it so that's that's where the old the old mind has been going um, not that I'm bored with with uh, with making the models or anything else like that I just I just want to get something that I can start with the photography and then what I also wanted to do was on the walls and everything else like that and that is to start taking the other members of YouTube's um, like Northview Model Shop, Full, Full Throttle Customs and that and doing their names in graffiti uh, text and, and then plaster the walls with graffiti 
of all the of all the shops and and of all the of all the of all the people and everything else like that and you know have some other stuff on there that's all model related car related just in some graffiti because I've, I've figured out how to print that off now and get it into scale and um, um, so that I can so I can get it mounted onto onto the board and that so that's where I'm going um, that's and that's basically about that's basically about it get rid of this relic so you know I'm back on the Mercedes I'm back on the I'm gonna start the the willies and uh, uh, continue working on the diorama it's gonna take that's that's could, it might take me all winter to do that don't know uh, so uh, I want to thank everybody for their for their comments about the 32 Ford about the high boy I appreciate everybody's comment appreciate everybody who watched the who watched it and uh, so we're on to the next one let's let's see what I can let's see what I can do with this baby so everybody until the next time cheers